and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ailey and today we're going to do a full face of makeup with cream slash liquid products. I don't know if it's been done, I don't know who's done it, so I just thought everybody does the sort of like full face of highlighters, full face of concealer, full face of foundation, stuff like that. And to be honest, most of us don't have enough different kinds of concealer to do that or different types of foundation, different shades and stuff like that to be able to pull something like that off but I think I should have enough cream style products to be able to do it so I just thought that this could be like a cool alternative to doing one of those things. As I said, I don't know if anybody's done it before, I don't know if it's a thing or anything like that. I just thought it would be a cool idea so that's what we're going to do today. So. I'm going to use all sort of cream, liquid, pomade, you know, no powders whatsoever in this look. I guess we should just get started. <laughs> Please excuse this dot. That's actual sunlight in Scotland. I'm a little bit distracted by it. I think we may finally have come into spring. Anyway, I'm going to start and I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. For concealer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm not going to use a massive amount of concealer because this is a full face of cream products and the more sort of like concealer I use, the more I'm going to really need to set it. I know, that's my theory anyway. Okay, it feels really weird not now wanting to go in and set that. For my contour, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Shaping Sticks and I've got the shade 200 and If you've watched my channel before, you know I love these things. I'm going to blend them out as I always do with my MAC Dual Fibre Brush. I have to contour my nose with cream products. Ah! Oh, I don't like doing this! Oh my god, wait, okay, let's find something to do it with. Why does that look so squint? I might be okay once it's blended out. Hmm! Yeah, and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that out. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, you should see my under eyes. For blush, I'm going to use Max Lady Blush. I really, really want to set my face now. So I'm going to use the infallible shaping stick in this shade 502 Gold is Gold is Gold is Cold. For my brows, I'm going to use the Cabrow from Benefit. It's a pomade, so technically it's like a creamy product. Okay, now this is the part that terrifies me. <laughs> Who does their eyeshadow with all cream products? Like, I'm going to put down a base, although I don't even know what difference it'll make. Uh, I'm going to use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. What if you've got cream to powder products in your collection? This might be okay. I tend to 
you know, stick to more sort of creamy hydrating products and then add like the tiniest bit of powder because I've got dry skin. I dread to think what this would be like on somebody with really oily skin. I suppose this could be like the ultimate dewy skin look. I actually have to say, I love how my skin looks right now. I just think it looks so fresh and dewy and yeah, it's, I've lost a little bit of my blush actually. I might add a little bit back in. But it just looks so healthy. I don't know how it's coming up on camera, but in real life it just looks kind of super dewy and oh, I, I actually really like it. I wish that it could look like this. And I did powder, but yeah, my under eyes look a mess though. So I think that that was going to be inevitable anyway. So I've got this. Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade Creme de Rose and I'm wondering, it's actually quite a pretty shade so I'm wondering if I can maybe make some sort of transition shade out of this. I don't have a lot of sort of cream products for the eyes so I'm just sort of multi-purposing here. This is actually a really, really similar shade to the Paint Pop. I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my cream contour and try, oh yeah that might work, because this, no it's still sticky, never mind, <laughs> I did think that this might dry down a little bit, okay I don't think that did anything at all, I'm just going to pretend that did something, I think it did a little bit, but not like, it didn't really add a transition shade as such. For my eyelids, I do actually have liquid products. So I've got these L'Oreal eye paints and I'm going to just stick these on and what I might do is just blend that up into my crease. I'm going to have like a really nice natural sort of eye look today. Just using the highlighter that I used on my face to add a little bit of my brow on. I'm gonna grab. Why do I keep putting things away? I'm gonna grab that contour shade again, and I've got this teeny little brush, and I'm gonna try and put this underneath my eyes. See how that kind of worked. Suppose I could do mascara because that's liquidy, creamy. My lower lashes might transfer quite a lot because there's no powder under there. I think this needs a little bit of eyeliner. This is like my favorite eyeliner just now, I think. I find, I find that black is just really harsh. I do have the ColourPop Mr. Bing, but when I got these in, I got this one and I got the gel liner, you know, like in the pot. When I got it in, I just found that on my hand it's fine, but it doesn't go onto my waterline very well. It's actually working a little bit better today, so maybe I'll use it. The other one that I always use is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Brown, and it's waterproof, so it stays on your waterline, which I really like. But I think today we're going to use Mr. Bing from ColourPop. So I think apart from the lips, that is it. So for my lips, I just use Velvet Teddy from MAC and I think that's it. <laughs> I hope that's it, I really do. Okay, so let's see the final result. This is what I look like. <laughs> my eyes have creased already, but I have faded eyes, so that was always gonna happen. My forehead's a little bit creasy, my under eyes look a little bit crazy, but I have to say, they don't look as bad as I was expecting because that Urban Decay concealer is amazing and because it's sort of still sitting wet just now, it's not looking horrendous. I mean, it's not looking the best, but it's not looking horrendous. 
but I think like after an hour or so, maybe even less time, that would be completely a different story. I mean, I do love that foundation. I love the contour sticks. I love everything that I've put on my face, I do pretty much love, but I would just love to set it. <laughs> do you think it looks really nice and dewy and soft, or do you think it just looks like a creasy mess? Because I would love to know your opinion. But anyway, that was it. Let me zoom you out. So that was it for my full face of cream products. What did you think of it? Do you think that you might want to go and give it a go? I think if you're watching this video, I would love it if you would go and give this a try as well because it's so cool. As I said, I don't know if people have done it before. I haven't looked. I'm not trying to start a tag or a trend or anything like that. I just thought it was a really cool idea because I do have really, really dry skin. So if this did work out, it could be something that I could actually actually do but maybe it was products that would dry down a little bit better because the finish that it's left is just beautiful and I really really do like it. I'd maybe not do it so much on the eyes but I mean for like a nice fresh face look it's quite nice. So yeah if you enjoyed this video I would love if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!